Well, you know, since I've been stalking you on TikTok and social media, <laughs> I figured that I would jump on and say hi. Hell yeah. I literally just keep seeing you everywhere and Dude, I kind of love it. <laughs> I love it too. If I see my friends on social media, that means one, I'm on there too much. And two, I have friends on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Man, TikTok is fucking wild, right? Oh my God. I So I had a personal TikTok for like the longest time and I would just keep getting sucked into there. But I just put off making one for streaming because I was like, I don't know. Streaming is one thing, having to go through the effort of like editing my videos and thinking of content. And I literally write kind of like little scripts out and stuff for my TikTok videos. Yeah. I was like, this is like too much effort. I was focusing on my Instagram at the time, but I bit the bullet and now it's just a whole other can of worms. Like, I, I don't your, even know. Your content is good on TikTok. Like, obviously, it's half. Let's be honest, Kat. Everything I make fun <laughs> of, you do. <laughs> And it's hilarious. <laughs> but also, it's the good content. It's the content that people want to see. It's the content that hits. It's just, I don't do that. And I think that sucks for a lot of people because they might think they need to do what everybody else. Follow the trends. Um, do the videos that you see. The the Do your progress videos. Like You see all the same stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why we're making fun of it at this point. But at the end of the day, still make it, you know? Like it's no, for sure. still content you want to put out there, right? Yeah. I think for me, when I first started out with my TikTok videos, because so for those of you who do not know, I am dating Neon Fox, who was on anime show yesterday. Yesterday. Um, he was the person who got me into streaming. And if he also has a YouTube channel where he used to make YouTube videos for like streamers and tips and all these things. Doxed. <laughs> He's been freaking lazing about yeah. on it. So yeah, if you guys yeah, can yeah. give him uh, heck for that, please yeah. do. Um, but he started doing that and I was like, you know what? Some of his stuff would be really good on TikTok. And I know he's not gonna get on TikTok. So I was like, let me just do it. Um, also, it was very much, you know, as a, so I'm Filipino Canadian, um, like first generation. And as a woman of color, you just don't see that type of content being put out by people who look like me. Yep. And I was like, you know what? Content is content. Like the quality of it, it's the same as like, you know, any other like white male header, like this streamer putting out. But like for someone who like, like me, who craves that representation, people might just like people who have the same interests or, you know, associate with a similar identity might just gravitate like closer towards what I'm putting out. Yeah. And that works for me. <laughs> I think. I, we talked about it maybe in a, in a comment section because, of course, that's where we do a lot of our talking. But mm -hmm. the fact that – so there's the whole argument of not only being diverse in who you are as a person, but the whole argument of do girls have it easier streaming-wise. Like mm -hmm. that's the big thing. Like I don't – we don't have to have this conversation if you don't. But there's also the statistics side where there's more freaking dudes on t uh, TikTok, on Twitch – and you're going to be seen as well. And if you can bring something different, even if it is just being a girl or being, you know, a different ethnicity and stuff like that, that's mm -hmm. still kind of part of it, I guess. Like, I'm trying to word this so I don't sound like a fucking idiot, which I usually do. <laughs> but like, if you can take advantage of, not take advantage of, you know, are you know what no. I'm trying to say? <laughs> no, exactly. It's like, why would you not utilize these things that you have that will help you on this platform? That's like, it's, Literally, you know, I recently had someone on one of my Instagram posts, like one of my tip videos, be like, just be a girl and show your tits and ass. And I was like, if you've ever watched any of my content, you know that I do not wear revealing clothing. Yeah. Or like, so why are you coming at me with this energy? But also, if I were to one day just wear like a crop top or like a bralette on my stream, <laughs> none of your fucking business, bro. <laughs> like, what? I'm so sorry you're not as interesting as a pair of breasts. Like that sounds like a you problem, truly. That's <laughs> that comment right there is hilarious. It's not my fault. You're not as interesting as a pair of breasts, and that's kind of true. Because there's plenty of uh, I forget. I think Louis mentioned the statistic. He was just if you look at a lot of the top streamers, there's still dudes. Like there's obviously women that are getting up there and whatnot through representation and everything, but they're still making content on top of the fact that. You know, they're mm -hmm. what, like they're making stuff you want to watch. Now, mm -hmm. granted, I have come across what I call booby looby streamers where they're just sitting on the couch drinking wine. Huh? 
so I mean that exists, but then there's also dudes who kind of do the same thing too. I don't find them because dude, I'm not going to watch a dude sit on a couch and drink wine. <laughs> like, sorry guys. I, I am who I am. But it, regardless, the main thing is those girls, some of them are able also, is it okay to say girl? I got attacked for calling someone a girl. Like, a woman is probably like yeah, more yeah. acceptable. So, Even like when someone says female, it's like a female what? Like a female dog, a female hamster. Yeah, people, that's the, that's the other <laughs> yeah, that's the other shit thing. But I'm it's like all that. like PC stuff, you know. Like, yeah. Just <laughs> um. But anyway, they're they're making content, and if they're able to use that boost just because they're a girl, fuck yeah, dude. Shit. Yeah. 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 Cool. Make it harder it's for me. Where, like I've had a couple of like my male streamer friends like you know, also like try to give me a compliment being like, oh, your content is so great and so wholesome. You're not like those other girls. It's like, do not come at me trying to give me a compliment, but also put down another woman at the same time. Like, it's not a compliment if you are just like trying to undermine my gender like that. It's basically like, so when I used to be like, when I was single, guys would come up to, I've had a couple guys come up to me and be like, Oh, you're cute for a Filipino. Like, well, that's not a fucking compliment. Whoa, like, <laughs> that is I'm cute, fucking period. brazen. Thank yeah, you. like that's not a compliment. It's the same. That's the same energy that I get from that. It's like, do not try to undermine my gender by like being like you're one of the good ones. It's like, no, 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 no. Ooh, no. We're... Ooh. Also, by the way, I put your Twitch up on and set so somebody have they can kind of <laughs> everybody. That's her Twitch yeah. page, by the way. We'll get the camera right. But anyway, yeah, that's so, <laughs> ugh, I hate that right, shit. Right, right. Boring. I just, recently, I've had even just like a couple of the other male streamers that I'm close with, like, come at me with that energy. And I've gotten to like full heated discussions where I'm like, it shouldn't be your concern how much skin a woman shows. Like, if that, like, the only reason you care about like how little or how much, like how much clothes a, a girl is wearing is because you think that that has an effect on your content yeah. when it shouldn't. If all of these, you know, quote unquote, booby streamers were getting zero <laughs> views, you wouldn't give a shit. Like you wouldn't care. Yeah. You are just jealous of the numbers that they're pulling, but it is not their fault they're pulling these numbers. These women are doing this because they know there's a market for it. If yeah. there wasn't a market for it, they wouldn't be doing it, period. The It's the platform in itself is what is broken. It is what is allowing these communities to breed in this way. And it is the users, the consumers of this content that yep. you should be directing your anger towards, yeah. not the people who are supplying it. Like, it's, <laughs> it's so, e- I think the problem is it's also just easy for people to be like that. And that sucks. It's so easy to be like, ah, oh, they're just doing it because of this or this and that. And and that goes along with what I was saying before. So many people want to make it as streamers because it's quote unquote easy to just stream, but they'll find any avenue to put an obstacle in front of them. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It's like, why would you do that? Just make your shit and be fun about it. And she found a water bottle. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> One second. Uh, a vamp. Vamp for me. Uh, bring up something. Also, what's up, Dark Cogs? <laughs> yes, I stopped being affiliate because fuck the man. I don't know. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about me being off affiliate since we talked about it a little bit last night? But talk about me. That's so funny. I actually like just going onto your channel and being like, wait, he doesn't have channel points. I can't highlight my message. What do you mean? Yeah, I like, have wow, to. Wow, look at you following the rules like that. <laughs> yeah, I have to. It's the whole. I have my whole thing about it. I did it. Yeah, check out the vi- video on YouTube yesterday with Neon Fox, everyone, on YouTube. Bang, bang, bang. Um, but yeah, it's so crazy seeing. How do you now that you saw uh, Bull come on? How do you feel about Bull with that whole situation? Um, I mean, so I kind of I'm always just like slow to like find these like trends and things on TikTok because I I try to limit the amount of time that I spend on there because I'll just get sucked in. Yeah. But when I did come across it, I was like, whoa, this kid is coming off as like really abrasive. And I'm not gonna lie, anime. This is how I felt about you too. I was like. <laughs> He talks his shit and like, I don't like some of it, but I think it's important to have like people around who do this because it keeps us on our game. Yeah. It's like what I've learned from just like my career in general and like all the little jobs in different industries that I've worked in is that you do not want to surround yourself with yes people and only yes people. Like there's a time and a place for like that time of energy, but you are not going to grow if people just keep being like, yes, that's so good. Yes, girl. Yes, 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 yes. Like where is like, you know, you like growth is not yeah. comfortable. You need that abrasion. You need that like 
that I don't know that that quote unquote negative energy to push you past your limits. Yes. Um, so it's like while I don't agree with like <laughs> you know some of the thing or some of the things that Abel is saying or the way he's saying it, and even yeah. you anime, like sometimes I'm like, whoa, you're really <laughs> speaking your truth here. Um, you know, I appreciate it and I do see value in it. It's like I would probably word it in a different way, but to each their own. Again, and like. Yeah. That's why I try and surround myself with actual intelligent people so they can kind of, I can have these discussions and even as simple as like when casual said, uh, let's change safe space. I want to change that to like platform. Yeah. And that's, that's something, it's something small, something different, but it's surrounding yourself. I, God, that's so true. And it's funny you say that because a lot of when I first started, I know other straight white dudes. So that's all I had on my show. And I remember mm -hmm. my buddy Luke uh, works with a couple of women and they were just like, why would I watch this? It's just a bunch of straight white dudes goofing off and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that's the problem is that's just what happened. I didn't mean for it to be this way. It's just you mm. kind of birds, what, birds of a feather flock together. Flock together. Ah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I don't mean to do that. It just happens. But that's why I try and get so many different perspectives. And I guess best case scenario is like you said, I, I'm I, I talk shit and everything, but I. You kind of need to hear that. It's just I hope I don't come mm -hmm. off the wrong way. It's just like how Bull did, just how I probably do. And I need people like you to say, hey, idiot. <laughs> Be nicer. But like the opposite side of that is like, you know, for me, I feel like people – so. I have a lot of people come in and be like, oh, my God, your stream and you, you're so wholesome. And I've like, that's a good adjective Ooh. to be described as. I, like, it's lovely. Like, you know, I've tweeted about it, whatever. But I also just do not like the idea of being typecast as this like one thing. Like, what does wholesome even mean? To me, I think of wholesome as like, you know, my niece is wholesome. She's a child. She's cute. My cats are wholesome. It's like, am I, do I have the same like, um, Pers like depth of personality as my cat I'm pretty sure I'm more complex as a person than that so it's <laughs> like I just as as much as I love that people associate m like me and my stream and like my channel and all like you know my my brand with that it's like I I crave now and I want people to see me more as like a multi-dimensional person and I think that's really important especially as a woman of color to just be like hey look you know, I, I put on my makeup and I'm being cute and I'm trying to make a welcome space for everyone. But also, like, I, I'll talk shit. Like, you guys don't see me. You don't know how I was, like, pre-COVID, going out with my friends yeah. and stuff and, like, whatever. Like, we are just, we're, we're more than just what you guys, what you guys see on here. 100 but. No, I agree. That's, I'll, I've said it a million times. That's why I like having these conversations is we can flesh that stuff out. Flesh that stuff out. Ew, Jordan, say it differently. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, Jesus. Ugh. That's like my favorite meme ever. <laughs> well, it was. Did it... <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Didn't Neon Fox use it? I'm pretty sure uh, in the YouTube videos, right? Like at That's the end. That's my voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my voice. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, I'm sorry, everybody. What's happening in chat? Do you have chat up? Are you keeping track? Because I am definitely not. Uh, I saw my name because safe space have become synonymous with negative connotations. Okay. And see, I didn't know that. I just, I keep hearing it. Stuff like that. Still hate my interview. Dark Hogs. I'll be like that. It was early on too. Dark Hogs also had an interview. One of my first, one of my first, you know, why are we even here? LOL. <laughs> but, oh man, it's. What a, so what's your goal now with TikTok now that you're on there? Is it, is do you, want to see that click over from TikTok that I can't seem to understand how that works like so I've actually had a little bit of that like I have had people so one thing that I found guys if you have TikTok and you're a streamer streamer okay streamer tip <laughs> streamer tip. um I saw quite a boost of like what do you call it funneling from TikTok once I started going live on TikTok so I will just pop up my phone go live on TikTok at the same time that I'm going live on Twitch and I mean, I get a lot of trolls and guys just come in and be like, you're pretty, oh, say this, say that. And I don't even pay attention to TikTok. Honestly, if people come in there and they want my attention, I'm always just like, come over to my Twitch channel because the tick, the, font, the font on TikTok is so freaking small. I do not know how anyone reads it, period. Yeah. Um, but I'm just like, come over to my Twitch. If you want to chat, we'll chat there. Um, but since I started doing that, I've definitely seen much more of a um, like, what overlap of people and users yeah. um, on that platform. But 
I feel like my social media, uh, especially my Twitter now <laughs> that I have it, it's where like that other side of my personality just kind of grows and thrives. And I've, you, I don't know if you've sussed it out with my tweets, but like <laughs> the, the, I don't want to say angry feminist side of me, but like that part of me is just like, why and into my, just uh, like, you know, like just talking about the way I look all the time. I'm sick of it. Like, you know, these are things that I would not necessarily um, go off about on my stream, but it's like, these are where, these are where I guess like those platforms for me are going. No, just it's, that <laughs> it's funny you say that because I, for the most part, try and keep it even across all my platforms, but mm -hmm. you can use, like you said, you, t Twitter has a completely shit. You might have a completely different audience of streamers on uh, Twitter, Instagram. They're all used in different ways, TikTok. And mm -hmm. I guess it's finding that, do you want to like use Twitter in that way where it's just like, okay, these are how I passionately feel. TikTok is going to be for, you know, helpful videos, uh, Bussing it apparently because that's something I need to start doing. <laughs> God forbid I don't bust it, and uh, you know, and then having your um, ooh personality on screen. I guess. Do you have that, or do you feel you're being? Which you're allowed to, by the way, everyone. If you have a semi personality on stream, that's kind of okay because you're an entertainer. You you, you have to entertain in a way. But how do you feel about mm -hmm. that? Uh, well, I like to think that I try to you know show people who who I actually am, like the way that I act and talk on stream is like at least like very very close to how i would just kick it with my friends if yeah. they were over i'm probably a little bit more sassy and a little bit more savage with like my friends because i can just let it loose yeah um but you know the the way i talk the way i hold myself is kind of just like very true to who i am um but it still is only one side of of me as a person yeah. like i'm only letting you see this little corner of my room i'm only letting you see me with like a face of makeup my hair did outfit picked out <laughs> like talking prompts like at the side it's it's with like the same with any other social media platform like instagram i show you snap like snaps shots of my life and these are true aspects of my life but are you seeing it 24 hours a day seven days a week yeah. like every little part of it no you know, you pick and choose what you kind of show your audience. And yeah, that, that's, I mean, <laughs> that's tricky. Like I, my Instagram, like stories for me are, I, I don't know if you saw the one I finally did like a gym. Cause I started going back to the gym. I was just like, why am mm -hmm. I doing this? And I was like, do it. Am I doing it for accountability? Do I want people to like, be like, Hey, have you gone to the gym? Am I doing it? Because I think it's silly. And I was trying to like take a picture of myself in the gym and somebody definitely saw me doing that and embarrassing. <laughs> But that's the type of stuff where it's like, do people really want to see that? Do people need to see that I go to the gym? Do people need to see that I eat so much yogurt? Definitely, yes. <laughs> but it's that balance of how much should I give my audience in a way? And it's, I don't know if I've found that yet. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely in the same boat where I don't even know what niche I want to fit in yet. Because again, like I whenever I feel like I'm being typecast, I kind of try to fight against that. It's like, oh, you're that wholesome girl. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not. <laughs> I'll twerk right here. I'll show you how wholesome I am. Like, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm never going to get that. No, 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 but like, <laughs> well, now you can't say it. No, that's fine. No. It's just like, I'll never do a dance video unless it's like, apparently <laughs> Poppy Fubar came on Monday and I danced to him singing a banana song, but that was goofy. It was goofy. I was being goofy, but um, but yeah, it's, it's just like, don't, I just, don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what box. I'm saying. I'm like, I just don't want to be like put in a box just as, as a, as that. a person, as a, and I, oh God, I hate being that person that always says it. Like as a female of color, you've been put in a box like so often in so many aspects of life that it's like, this is like one of the things that I don't want to be like. Put, no, or felt like I've been like shuffled into a corner and that, at least it needs to be the corner that I choose to be in. So <laughs> no, 100%. I agree with you. you. You should be allowed. Unfortunately, a lot of it, especially on the internet can get out of your hands. So people are going to label mm -hmm. you. People are going to put you in those boxes. And the best thing you can do is just keep being yourself. I think at the end of the day, and then kind of the best you can do is mold those people's ideas. I guess the prime example is once again, blowing them up at this point, able is, you know, mm. you got to express 
you know, you, you, you got the level. Cert. Shit, I did it. I completely cat Leante when I did my stitch with her. It's just like, yeah. I misheard her. She probably didn't. Have, I had. I made a second video. I was like, I misheard her. It's probably good intentions. She's just. Everybody's just cr- trying to do their best. And then when yeah. you start, man, I just want to come from not a shitty position, but I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard. It's hard to not. And I don't want to say I put people in those boxes, but I definitely like. I'm just like ah, you're being stupid, you idiot. I don't know. <laughs> well, sometimes you need you need that energy. You know, like mm. I was saying, you at least for me, like I do not want to be surrounded by yes people all the time. And I think this is why like Neon and I always have these constructive conversations. Like (laughs) he doesn't have TikTok himself, but he'll always be looking over my shoulder, (laughs) super mesmerized by my TikTok feed, like always just listening in and commenting on my videos and stuff. And I'll show him something that I like, like let's say a video and someone is trying to make a point that I agree with. And he'll always try to play devil's advocate and always try to like push against the argument, which me endlessly but i'm so appreciative of that energy and of that way of thinking because without it i would just be stuck within my own biases yeah like we need to surround ourselves by people who also just have varying points of view um in order to expand our own and i think it's extremely important so i yeah <laughs> no. I'm, I'm super on board with with your content <laughs> anime uh ho- hopefully i i keep my foot at least mostly away from my mouth when I'm saying shit, but that's why I'm trying to have more of these conversations. Um, Kat, I know I'm going to have you on later in the month, uh, hopefully yes. with King Snazzy. Everybody, yes. please go follow Kat. I have wait, still waiting. Haha, <laughs> hilarious wordplay. Um, <laughs> also, every other Saturday, please come on if you have something you want to rant about or literally any of the other podcasts I do because I do anime stuff on Mondays and then complain casts. They're always open for everyone. All I ask is on Wednesdays, it gets fucking crazy. So, uh, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But uh, Kat, do if you want to do like your elevator pitch and all that good stuff and promote yourself. All right. So guys, yes, I am Kat the Mao. Let's Kat the Mao on every single platform. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, though there's nothing on there yet. And I also have a Pinterest. So <laughs> go check out that Pinterest. Hell yeah. That's where I got the idea for this college girl dorm wall. I was going to say, she cute. That's a cute wall. <laughs> yes. Underneath <laughs> this brash exterior is just a college girl who <laughs> likes pinterest and cats and stuff you know i have a dog anyway cat thank you so much for coming on i appreciate you thank you for having me i'll yep. talk to you later i will talk to you later All right. Bye. bye